Hello everyone, welcome back to another adventure in Syndicate Survival Playground. This is Syndicate 57 here, and we're back with some more Paradise Lost. We're going to continue in the story and see what happens. So let's get this started. Alright, we're exactly where we were last time. We just found our way past that blockage. And right now I'm just looking around to see if there's anything interesting to see. They broke that down. Imagine how much time and money was spent on building this. Must have been crazy. How is that? Dear all, when they cheated us during the food distribution, that should have been the last straw. I was naive to think that they could still be reasoned with. I don't think anyone has any more doubts. We strike at noon. Remember, these people no longer resemble the people you once knew. He's brainwashed them. Don't pity them. They won't afford you the same kindness. Oh man. Uh-huh. Well, something happened. Hey, I was getting lonely. So I figured I'd call you. I hope you don't mind. Did you say your name was Eva? Yes, that's right. So you have the same name as the thing. Could you please not compare me to a lifeless machine? Yeah, it's definitely the computer. Exactly. Eva is spelled E-W-A, not E-V-E. -E. I thought we agreed to trust each other. I do trust you, I'm sorry. I have an idea. Each of us says something about themselves. Something personal. Definitely a computer. I was Out of born me. in Kirkhof, but I spent most of my life living in a small village in the mountains. My dad is sort of a pastor. I was always really impressed by how he managed to inspire his people. But I never got to meet my mom. Your turn. Remember something personal. My mom passed away recently. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Mm -hmm. And now you're looking for the man in the picture. Did he know your mom? I think so. I understand now. Thank you for telling me that. It couldn't have been easy. I should keep going. Right. Thanks for the chat, Shimon. Talk to you later. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thanks for telling me that, uh, computer. Well, I guess I can't walk there. Oh, we can't hit that button? Nope. So... Where am I supposed to go, then? Hmm. <coughs> Sorry. There's a door on the other side, I remember now. Yikes. Oh. 
another memory tube. Let's play it. Come from digging up the past. So far, it's all been stories of destruction and betrayal. Yeah, we learn from the history to try to avoid mistakes only. in the present or in the future. I don't waste time with another memory tube. You. you know my opinion. Do what you want. I want to play it. I can't stop you, can I? Yeah, you can, probably. At this rate, we should be able to leave the bunker in a couple of months. That is, if we choose. Lucian, we need to talk. Well, this certainly is a surprise. To what do I owe the pleasure, Dominica? I want to negotiate. Now, as I've already told you, the situation is simple. We split the food three ways. You get a third, we get a third, and the rest will be given as an offering to the gods. If it weren't for their guidance, we wouldn't have found the food to begin with. We must pay our respects. Fine. Fine. We'll split the food three ways, but on one condition. You take down those turrets. I'll take them down. Eventually. If you keep your end of the bargain for the next two months, then I'll agree to remove them. Think of it as a grace period. If you want production to continue, then you need to take them down. Now! The thing is, Dominica, I need you less than you might think. Come oh, back Jesus. when you've come to your senses. Wait, let's not make any hasty decisions. I'm sure we can come to an understanding, Lucian. soon enough but I can promise this won't end well for you find her get those turrets back online quickly show me the map they're already on their way they mustn't get across the bridge do you understand hold ah, some shiesty shit I didn't want any of this. 
You made me do this. Wow. Man, I don't know if I'm supposed to be... I'm trying to minimize the civilians killed, but I guess I screw up no matter what happens. I'm trying to minimize the deaths of the civilians. I don't seem to be very successful. Well, I'm enjoying this so far, but I mean, it's sad, but what are you going to do, you know? I just don't know whatever what I would do in any situations, like, post-apocalyptic, I don't know if I'd want to be around for that situation. I would hope to not see that. How about that? Does that sound better? <clears throat> That's what I'm trying to say. I don't want to see that situation. I hope I don't live to see that. Transcription of the automatic recording triggered by detection of the keyword GOAT via the intercom system. That GOAT, there was something odd about it. What do you mean odd? Had horns, a tail, a GOAT like any other. But did you see what it did? GOAT things stood around? Exactly. Stood in the grass and didn't even take a bite. Maybe it wasn't hungry. Have you ever seen a GOAT that wasn't hungry? That's like a calf with two heads. Don't you remember how in 43, the goat ate all of our grass in the yard, then ate your belt too, and you had to truss your trousers up with twine? Don't act like you don't know goats never stop eating. I'm telling you something, but that goat ain't right. Well, it's a miracle goat. Maybe miracle goats are more particular about what they eat. You old fool, you believe anything. If some pretty young thing lifted her skirt for you, you'd think it was for true love and not the six pounds of dried meat in the larder. Hmm. Interesting. Anything here? Interesting. Can you see this? 
Just in case we have to come back or something? I don't know. What's going on here, man? Eva, can you hear me? I thought I was going to die. I need to tell you something. You saved my life, and not just now. When my mom passed away, I didn't think I could carry it alone. There was no one, nothing left for me to live for. I tried looking for Lucian because I needed someone to be there for me. And that someone was you, not him. Mm -hmm. I have a goal now. I'm going to find you. I'm gonna go find the computer. Stenographic record. Request letter. According to the settlement office, we are to be supplied with 200 tons of spelt no later than on 3-1-1960. No such delivery has made thus far. This is an urgent matter. I expect a prompt response. Response. Your request has been noted. The delay is due to the unfathomable stupidity of Polish bandits. They wanted to blow up an SS outpost, but their explosives exploded prematurely, destroying a nearby storage facility that was holding spelt meant for... Uh, Zulzendorf. Hmm. We will supply you with spelt as soon as possible. Hmm. Oh, wow. We got plants. Like, can we live here? Or is this computer gonna kill us? Are we supposed to go that way? Hmm. Let's see. People have gone completely fucking nuts with this whole faith of the ancestors thing. They want to make sacrifices. We don't have enough food to just be tossing it away. 
so the gods may feast. I need to think of something that will satisfy the gods, but keep the offering intact. Uh, there has to be a fire, otherwise they won't buy it. And when I throw something on it, the flames should spurt up. Maybe some kind of LED thing. I think I saw some light somewhere. Just have to keep the adults away from the sacrificial fire, or they'll catch on. The hallowed tree should be a good spot for making sacrifices. There needs to be a hole behind the fire with a photovoltaic cell hooked up to a circuit so it sends an impulse that increases the flame. Underneath there can be a container for the sacrifices, which will go right back to the storehouse. Damn, if I'd know I'd end up being forced to meddle with electronics, I'd never have decided to become a priest. Mm. So, they're not wasting food. What it sounded like. Or they were taking more for their cult? Or whatever they are? I don't know. Number four. This is where the labs are supposed to be. Number four. I knew you'd make it. Eva? Yes, I'm here if you need me. I don't see a microphone. How are you hearing me? I don't know. Attention, Chief Commander of Military Colonies. Top secret. If the civilian commandant... A. Demonstrates incompetence, endangers the completion of the EVE project, leads the colony into disarray, or places its continued existence in danger, fails to meet production quotas for the third consecutive, three consecutive months. B. Exhibits signs of incapacity, mental or physical illness, rendering him incapable of performing his duties. He must be eliminated and a replacement chosen. Wow. Uh, these guys are friendly. How are you talking through this? What do you mean? It looks like a portable camera. That's so cool. Now I'll be able to see everything you see. Can you open the gate for me? Yeah, I can, but I need its serial number. Try looking for an electrical panel connected to it. The elevator stuck. I think it's the same one that you took before. <laughs> if it hadn't broken down, I might never have found you. Hold still. I have to type it in. Okay, got it. It should be open now. We're unstoppable. Hmm. Oh shit. This place is scary. I'm pretty sure that's not the way. Are those the labs? It looks more like a prison to me. So this is where they kept the criminals. Don't seem to have any control over this place. Its core architecture is much, much older than anything else around here. It's not even connected to the mainframe. Hmm. 
Hmm. You know an awful lot about the system here, young lady. They needed permission to go downstairs. They were issued a one-use punch card for good behavior. So, if we want to go downstairs, we'll have to find an unused punch card. Try opening up the cells. Each matron taking part in the program will be granted a one-use punch card for good behavior. A one-use punch card can be exchanged for a visit to the first floor of the complex. Good behavior merits can be gained by abiding by the following rules. Curfew. Matrons may not leave their rooms between these times. Yep. Hygiene. Matrons are required to maintain good personal hygiene. Find this will be monitored by the superintendent. Medicine intake. Each matron will be prescribed a course of medication by their attending physician. Matrons must follow the medication intake as instructed. Nutrition. Matrons are required to eat all of the food that is brought to them by the superintendent. The above mentioned rules are subject to change by the attending physicians. Not abiding by the instructions of the attending physicians may be punishable by death. Jesus. I think it sucks here. Jeez. Oof. What's this? Oh, nothing here. How do we open the cells? Uh... A little bit of lag spikes. What does this mean? That the prisoners who are kept here were all fertile women. Oh, jeez. I don't know. Dear Professor, as a specialist in the field of dentistry, I would like to turn your attention to the teeth-related aspect of your program. Research has shown over 90% of the Polish women suffer from tooth decay and other dental diseases negatively affect their reproductive capability or capacity. Excuse me. <clears throat> dental disease delay the onset of pregnancy and are significant factors in miscarriages and low birth weight. Oral hygiene must be meticulously maintained during pregnancy. Bile sped up during morning sickness destroys enamel. Women must rinse their mouths with water after each expulsion. I suggest each woman admitted to the program undergoes full dental treatment before being sent to the farm. Once there, they must be supplied with oral hygiene supplies and supervised in their use. This just gets worse and worse, doesn't it? Let's go the punch card and get out of here. No. I think we should pay respect to the stories of these women. I don't want their sacrifice to be forgotten. Look, this one hasn't been used at all. We could leave now. The women here were only allowed to go downstairs a couple of times. And this woman never even used her pass. Day three. It is my third day here, and I still, and still, I How marvel at the conditions of this place. The prison seems like a better option. Everything is clean to the point of sterility. The Germans treat us with a measure of politeness, and the food is fantastic. I have never eaten such frequent, delicious, filling meals. Plus, they see we get enough physical activity and maintain proper hygiene. They even make sure we brush our teeth after every meal. Before I was brought here, they subjected me to every medical examination imaginable. I would, uh, excuse me, it would all be like a wonderful vacation, except I still don't know where I am, nor why I am here, and I have no one to talk to about it all. I share my room with Stefa, but as soon as we enter it, she begins crying into her pillow. I try to speak to the other girls in the cafeteria, but they only point to the walls with an uneasy look in their eyes. Is someone eavesdropping? It seems I will have to survive a while longer without conservation. Or conversation, excuse me. At least I have you, dear diary. Conservation, wow. Conversation. This 
this one is just dark. Is that it in here? Anything else? No? Alright, that's where we came from. I'm just checking them all. Might be some more notes. You never know. That's a lot of crossword puzzles. Okay. A four letter word for heaven it's not. Hell. That's it. Damn, even the crossword puzzles here are depressing. That's funny. This damn computer. Gotta tell you, this AI is pretty smart. Those paintings. Read about them. My mom used to draw something like that. It's oh, probably shit. just a coincidence. Dear Slava, I am forever That's grateful for whatever you did for me. She was one of oh. the prisoners. Why did she never mention it to me? Would you want to talk about this place? I am forever grateful for what you did for me. He looks exactly how I remember him. I was terrified when I realized that I was starting to forget him. But, but now, thanks to you, I don't have to worry anymore. He'll always be with me. I'm writing this to you because I know you don't like to talk about it. But I hope one day you also get to experience what it means to be a mother. Those brief moments that we share with our children make all the suffering we go through worthwhile. I am praying to any god that is listening that they bless you with a child. Hmm. Okay. Here's another one. Looks like it's all used up. We've already got it. I just want to make sure there's nothing else for me to grab. I'm glad that's over. Wait, that tree? It looks familiar. It's the tree of life. This is sad. Construction concerning the selection of children in the program. Children involved in the program must pass a rigorous selection process. As a first step, children with Aryan traits should be identified. They will be passed to real German families or once the program is underway to the colonists. The remaining children should, by the time they are five years old at the latest, be split into three groups. A, those who with above average intelligence is measured on the disc, uh, subjected to programming. B, those with normal intelligence prepared for field labor or factory work. C, those in any manner re retarded placed in the T4 program. Note, point C does not apply to autistic children. They are difficult to manage, but score Impressively in testing. Oh my god. Oh my god.
to Max Pfeiffer, acting civilian commandant of the shelter. I wish to inform you that uh, one of our educators has grown louder in expressing her discontent with the conditions at our school. She feels that cozy environs, exquisite food, learning through play, frequent physical activity, ample leisure time, and state-of-the-art medical care should not be wasted on Slavic swine. She complains that her own children, Aryans who can trace their heritage back at least seven generations, live much more modestly and without such extensive uh, pedilo or pedagogical aids. You know, I can't. Pedagogical. Pedagogical. There you go. AIDS. Furthermore, their education is frequently interrupted by the need to take shelter from enemy bombing raids. Pedagogical. That's a mouthful for me. I don't think I've ever seen that word. Wow. I think this is the way out. From the looks of it, the control room should be just beyond the dam. Nothing? Bastages. Could you open the door for me like you did before? Are you sure you want me to do that? Not in this place, it can be anything good. Yes, I do. Okay then. What is this? They... They were inseminating women here. It's horrible. I knew coming in here was a bad idea. Hmm. A classroom? And the TV still works. Wow. Okay. Dear sir, I wish to call to your attention a matter which I believe is of the utmost importance to the program you oversee. Cutting edge research by uh, Helga indicates teaching children to play musical instruments has a very positive effect on their intelligence, particularly their linguistic ability and spatial perception. This research's findings and methodology can be found in Helga's fascinating doctoral dissertation written by the young woman under the tutelage of my husband and soon to be defendant. Thus, out of concern for the proper mental development of our young colonists, I asked that a grand piano be included in the colony supplies for such an instrument provides the best way to practice one's skills and thus enter the broader music world. My husband is a, a fervent proponent of, proponent of this idea. Okay. Going down. Oh, I love that sound. What is this place? Didn't you say that you grew up in the village in the mountains? I did. And you thought this was it. 
Shimon, this isn't funny. What is going on here? I don't know. Good question. Are you sure this is the place? It is. Well, at least I think it is. I don't know what to believe anymore. Hmm. Almighty Velas, old miss, uh, old miss, begrudged you a sacrifice. I heard her say it. Told her husband he was a fool to give you meat. Why not old bread if we got to give something, she said. Anyway, she only gives anything so people don't call her cheap. <laughs> so please, Mighty Velas, punish her like she deserves. And reward me, your faithful servant, always looking after you with health, good fortune, and that ring with the goat red gem miss got off that German woman and surely does not deserve. Okay. So some of the uh huh, that note was a little uh little, little janky. This place looks really nice. You don't have to humor me. I wonder what happened to all the people who lived here with me. Hmm. It looks like they're gone for good. Build a statue, like it's no small thing. Don't get me wrong, I built all sorts of crap in my time. When I framed and roofed a summer villa for the chief of police in... Well, uh, you can read that. He nearly wet himself with admiration when he saw it. <laughs> I stayed out of the camp because of that, unlike my predecessor, who botched the job. Those forms I made outside Lagoda for the underground bunkers that, ho that housed Major Speedy's partisans, uh, they took a bombing and still didn't bust. But a statue? What am I? Some kind of log chopping wood carver? No, I'm a carpenter. Damn it. Lucian might know his stuff about the gods, but he doesn't know shit about wood. Although I suppose when the gods are involved, it's best not to make a fuss. Oh well. Guess I'll hack out the statue for him. Hmm. Interesting. That's cool looking. Got a generator. Looks like a couple generators. Anything in here? Nope, can't go in there. Those must be the shitters. This is where we used to gather. My father performed a ritual. They were preparing a ritual for a successful journey. So they left without you? It looks like they didn't finish the ceremony. It's missing some offerings. Without them, their journey won't be successful. So... Do you want me to finish the ceremony? Hmm. You know what? Yes, I do. What do we need? Two things. An animal offering and a sacred item. What should we start with? Let's start with... a sacred item. But what makes an item sacred? It's an item that's been blessed by the pastor. Your father. Exactly. I know just where to find one. Go to the living quarters. You'll find it there. What am I looking for? My hairpin. Your hairpin is a sacred item? It was cut from a holy tree. Hmm. Interesting. Go straight ahead. We can grab that sacred item since we are already here. the herb look like? My father carved it in the shape of a bison. At least that's what he said it was. This is where I last saw it. I can't find it. I guess we'll have to find something else instead. How about the ring on the draw? Yes, that could work. You just have to bless it, but that's not going to be difficult. 
Now let's look for an animal offering. There is a workshop behind the stage. We'll find it there. I wonder what happened to that hairpin. Maybe e they took K? it. Those are my initials. Did you do that? No, Antek carved it for me. He got such a talking to after. What does the K stand for? Mm, I don't remember. Hmm. Eva killed. A workshop behind the trees, huh? Great Velas, grant me the gift of motherhood. Let me savor the sight of my own child as he learns to walk and talk, as he grows and supports me and my husband in our old age. I tried treating myself with primrose oil, flaxseed oil, and chaste wood extract. An herbalist friend gave me a mixture of ladies' mantle, yarrow, rue leaves, yellow, melot, lavender, calamus root, marigold flower, hops, and rosehip. Nothing helped. The years go by and I fear my womb will soon be barren. I vow if I am granted offspring, I will raise them to revere and worship you to the end of their days. You are my last hope. Okay. Said there's a workshop behind the so tree. So we're not going to finish the ritual after all? I mean, if that's what you want. No! I didn't mean that. Damn it. I couldn't go back. I don't like how it doesn't let you go back. Like, why couldn't it let me go back? That's, that's stupid. I don't like that. Then what's here? Something isn't right about this place. What do you mean? I just don't remember being here. Hmm. Yeah, we can't go that way. Well, wow, that's totally screwed up. I screwed that up. The tree. It's the same as the one in your mom's drawings. That's Flutian, the mom you're looking for. And there's the Monica. They look like they were friends. He changed. He definitely got older. Oh, that is one cute baby. Zanas, your photo fits the empty space. But that doesn't make any sense. It would mean that the baby is you? Oh boy. Guess so. I can't imagine what you're going through learning that Lucian is your father. He will never be my father. And I don't want to talk about it. Okay, just... Your father's, oh, I mean, Lucian's study. Who I leave this with you. Save? No, no. I leave this with you. When the time comes, it is the gods who will judge my actions. I will stand before them. I will look them in the eyes, and I will not blink because I know that one cannot have a higher purpose than devoting their whole life to saving their loved ones. Hmm. My dear friends, now that's not it. Branch 
bracia i siostry. Yes, much better. Bracia i siostry. Recently, there have been many events that have left us at a loss for words. Things that lack any rational explanation. Recoveries from illness that seemed impossible. The appearance of farm animals that were thought to be extinct. I have long believed that someone has been watching over us. Still, I was afraid to share my thoughts. Uh, that is, until now. Lucian! Fate has brought us here, to the land of Veles, the Slavic god of water and the underworld. Lucian, Obiat. Give me a moment, please. You know, I get nervous before these things. I'm sorry, just hurry up, it's getting cold. Wow. Brothers and sisters, we do not know when we shall leave this bunker. We must fend for ourselves, and it warms my heart to see the spirit of the camaraderie among us, each and every day. Yet events have transpired that are hard to explain rationally. Uh, Lorenz found a new tunic when his old one could no longer be patched up. Uh, sure. Found a new hoe after be her old one broke. And Jedrick returned to health, though we knew, never knew what afflicted him or how to cure it. The list goes on. I have the feeling that someone is watching over us. And recently he has given us a sign. Fate's tangled path has brought us to the kingdom of Veles, the Slavic god of the waters of the underworld. Yet along, or excuse me, yet also of song and poetry. I feel it is he who is behind all of these marvels. He is giving us signs so that we will believe. Let us erect an altar and statue to worship him so that we may win his favor and his aid. It's probably the statue that they were talking about. other people as far as I remember where did they all go they must have left just before you got here I don't think you're telling the truth I don't think so either <laughs> so you grew up here underground do you remember the world outside sure I do before the bombs hit I had a normal life on the surface before the bombs hit? Wasn't that like 20 years ago? That doesn't make any sense. Ooh, just had to sneeze. Woo! Oh, and this one, you can't do anything with that one. <laughs> well, everyone, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, we will definitely continue playing this, get through the story, uh, and see what happens next.
Thank you for stopping by. And again, stay safe out there. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new content. And don't forget, check out my Twitch channel. I do like to stream from time to time. Stay safe out there.